Nuria en Diana. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good night, Doctor, teacher. How are you today? Very well. And you? How are you today, girl? Very well, teacher. Very good. Oh, wait, so, sorry. How are you today? I mean, I didn't find because I didn't listen to you because I have mute my computer. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Saira, Diana. Hi, teacher. Hi. Just we're going to wait for a moment. Sara. Good night, teacher. How are you today? Uh, Tired. Tired. <laughs> Sí. Very tired. Very tired. Okay. Ya se acerca el final, el cierre de mes. Oh my God. A lot of work to do. No quieren beber, teacher. <laughs> the people they don't want to drink. Oh my God. I, no. Oh my God. So sorry for you, Sara. Thank you, teacher. Francisca. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. So they are two past eight. Claribel Rosales, how are you today? Flor. Hello, teacher. Good, good night. We miss you on Friday. I don't know. You were not no, here. No puede, teacher. Tengo un compromiso. Okay. okay. Vicky. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Jorge, Fatima, very good that you are now. You are Hi, on how time are you? now. Well, very good. Salvador. Hi, good night. Leonardo, good night, everybody. Good night, Jorge, everybody. Good night. Joanna, very good. I'm glad to see you, everybody here, okay? I was thinking that on Friday was the teacher. That's why you were not here. <laughs> but now I think so that it's not the teacher. I mean, it was. How do you feel today? I feel good. So you know, not. I mean, I, I I could rest on on weekend, and I think so that it's very good for me. I mean, right now I'm very good. Thanks God for God's sake. Okay, four past eight. We're gonna go for the attendance, and after we're gonna start with the class. Okay. Attendance. Attendance. Today is. Today is Monday, Monday, June 28th, 2021. Okay. Okay. Well, um, America Beatriz Garcia Herrera. No, yet. Diana Gabriela Martinez Escobar. Okay. 
Bernardo Javier Aquino Menéndez. Nice. ¿Me escuchó, teacher? No, Diana. Es que mi internet está fallando. Ah, bueno, dígame ahorita, present. Present. Ok, Bernardo. Present, teacher. Ok. Ever de Jesús Candray. Fátima del Carmen Portillo de Hernández. Present. Flor Idalia Turcios Luna. Present, teacher. Very good. Francisca Yanira Arevalo Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Very good. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. Mauricio Alexander Majano Escobar. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas. Present, teacher. Paris Abraham Rivera López. Lucio Katia Mar Maritza Martínez Cubías. Ruth Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Present, teacher. Zaira Vanessa Velázquez Quinteros. Present, teacher. Salvador Edgardo Escobar Vázquez. Present teacher. Sara Carolina Jiménez. Present teacher. Very good. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Very good. Yancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Y soy la Claribel Rosales Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, just let me write down the message. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, that's it. Remember, we are the champions. No, we are online. We are online. No, we are online. We are online. Oh, who has me? Oh, who has me? Who is repeating my phrases? Please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> it's me. Wes, let, let me see. No, that is not me, no? Let me see. No. Ah, no, it's not me. Okay. So, we have to make a welcome again, guys. Welcome again to the... <clears throat> To the program. This is the unit number two, and then uh, this is the unit number two of the module number two uh, of the um, level of beginners. That's why you have beginner. That is my, my my screen. Okay, beginners, and this is the second module of this level, and this is the unit number two that we are going to start today. Okay, uh, we are gonna see uh, what we have for today. And as always, to start the class, we are gonna uh, we are gonna see a little bit about what we discussed the last class. Let me see. Oh, there is no. Okay. Choo, choo, choo. The, uh, there is. Uh -huh. okay. Perfect. I'm going to start to share my screen. Uh -huh. There is. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Is that so, 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 no. That is no. Okay. 
compartir. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí. So let's gonna do it in another way then. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Escritorio. Compartir. Desde aquí lo vamos a crear. Ahí está. Ok. Uh -huh. I got problem with my license. English for work program basic module to adverbs of frequency is the class for today. Ok. But after all, we're going to make a review that we, what we discussed in the last class. What we discussed in the last class, we were discussing about routines. Ok. Routines, what kind of routines do the people have? And we read a text uh, about uh, Mary, okay? We read, a, we read a text about Mary and, and what Mary does, uh, what time does she get up, what time does she get dressed, what time does she brush her teeth, uh, what time does she go to school and everything, and so on and so on, okay? So I'm gonna go with the reading again and after I'm gonna make some questions for you, okay? <clears throat> Let's see, this is Mary. Mary gets up at seven o'clock in the morning. She gets dressed in her bathroom. Then she has breakfast in the kitchen at half past seven with her sister. She brushes her teeth in the bathroom. Later, she goes to school by bus at a quarter to eight because school starts at a half past eight. At half past 12, she has lunch in the school canteen. After classes at five o'clock on Monday, on and Wednesday, she has piano lessons, and on Fridays, she plays basketball with her friends. In the evening, she goes home and has dinner at a quarter past eight with her family. Dígame, Dinora, what's up? No me oye, o medio complejo. No, perdón, ¿dónde está leyendo eso, teacher? Perdón. ¿Dónde está leyendo eso? Que no, no, no sé si lo comparte con nosotros, porque yo veo es que... una pantalla. Pero, pero ¿dónde están como documentos de Word, PDF? Ah, ok. Con iconos en la pantalla. Ajá. Es la pantalla de su escritorio, dicho. De verdad, permítame entonces, dejo de compartir ahorita. No sé qué pasó. Compartir pantalla. Perdón, entonces acá veamos. Ahí está, perdónenme. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sí. Oh, sí. Sí. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So sorry. <laughs> okay. So this is Mary. Mary gets up at seven o'clock in the morning. She gets dressed in her bathroom. Then she has breakfast in the kitchen at half past seven with her sister. She brushes her teeth in the bathroom. Later, she goes to school by bus at a quarter to eight because the school starts at a half past eight. At a half past 12, she has lunch in the school canteen. After classes at five o'clock on Monday, I thought after classes at five o'clock, sorry. On Monday and Wednesdays, she has piano lessons and on Fridays, she has she plays basketball with her friends. In the evening, she goes home and has dinner at a quarter past eight with her family. After she takes a shower, finally she goes to bed at 10 o'clock. She sometimes reads a book before she goes to sleep. Okay, Dinora. Hmm? Okay, teacher. What time does Mari get up? Mary, sorry. Um, no prestamos a, ajá, la lectura. Ajá. She, the, she get up at seven o'clock. He gets up. Gets up. Exactly. She gets up. At seven o'clock. Okay. Uh, Claribel Rosales, remember your full name when you when you get uh, when you are on pause. But again, the question is, uh, where 
does Mary have lunch? Where does Mary have lunch? She has breakfast in the kitchen, teacher. Ah, okay, breakfast, very good. Breakfast. Pero breakfast, lunch, where does breakfast. she have lunch? Uh, lunch. Exactly. She takes your lunch in the uh, school. In the school canteen. Exactly. Thank you, Ever. Ever. What does Mary do on Mondays and Wednesdays? Monday on, on Wednesday. Uh huh. What does she do? She does, no, she has do, takes a piano lesson. She has to take, no, she has nada más. She has, she has a piano lesson. She has piano lessons, exactly. Nuria. Yes, it is. What time does she go to the bed? Mm. Uh, she go to the bed at 10 o'clock. Very good. She goes to the, she goes to bed at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. She goes to bed at 10 o'clock. Sara, where does she brush her teeth? Did she brush her teeth? Exactly. Where does she brush In her the bathroom? teeth? In the bathroom. Yeah. Es que no se lo escucha casi, se lo escucho descortado. De verdad, pero quizás, no sé, ¿todos me escuchan así? Sure? Sí, todos me escuchan así o quizás es su internet, Sara. No sé, ¿todos me escuchan sure? cortado? No, teacher. Ah, pues el internet de Sara. Sara, usted está teniendo problemas con su internet, teacher. Sara. Por eso es que no me escucha. No me escucha, por eso. Bueno. Teacher. No le escuchamos casi, Sara. Si quiere, la vamos a dejar para después. Tiene problemas con su internet, Sara. Abraham. Tell me. Sorry, What teacher. Does... El de... internet no tiene. Sí, eso, eso me he dado cuenta, Sara. Vamos a ver si no la dejo más después, Sara. Abraham, what does she do on Fridays? What does she Mary do on Fridays? What does uh, Mary do on Friday? She, she plays basketball with her friends. Very good. Fatima. Yes, teacher. What time does the school start? Um, The school starts at a half past eight. Very good. Thank you. Gabriela. Yes, teacher. We, uh, who takes, who take, who take, well, who take breakfast with Mary? Yeah. Yeah. Who take breakfast with Mary? She, mm -hmm. she has breakfast. Uh -huh. In the kitchen. No. No. Who? No, at... no. Who? Can. Exacto. Con quién? Who take breakfast with Mary? Uh... With her sister. With her sister, her sister, okay, su hermana. Very good. Flor. Yes, teacher. After dinner. 
what Mary, what does Mary do? After dinner, what, what does Mary, Mary do? Mm. Pero me te dijeron que no sé dónde. Ah. <laughs> um, a la cual el past. Uh -huh. What past a with her family. Pero ahí está, justo después está la respuesta, Flor. After this. Ajá, after qué? ¿Qué hace? What does she do? After she takes a shower. She takes a shower. Very good. Ajá. Janira. Hi, teacher. Where does Mary get dressed? Where does Mary get dressed? Donde se cambia Mary? Come on, guys. Um, she gets this in the bedroom. In her bedroom, exactly. Saul. Her teacher. Very good. At what time does she have lunch? At what time does Mary have lunch? Oh. A 10 o'clock. Oh, a las 10 en punto. Muy temprano me la hizo comer, pobrecita la niña. <laughs> Poor girl. Lunch. At what time does she have lunch? ¿A qué horas tiene almuerzo? ¿Alguien que le ayude? A half past 12. Exacto, half past 12, a las 12.30. Sí, 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 estaba arriba, iba, llevaba la secuencia de abajo. Y... <laughs> exactly, thank you. Jorge. Where, Jorge, where does she have breakfast? Again, where does she have breakfast? Dame me lo puede señalar, teacher, por favor. Where does she have breakfast? Okay. Has breakfast. Um, she has mm, breakfast. Breakfast in the chicken. In the kitchen. <laughs> in, the, yeah, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen. Very good. Thank you. So, welcome. Yancy. Hi. Hi. How does Mary go to a school? How does Mary go to school? Uh, Mary. Uh -huh. she, she goes to school by bus. Excellent. Good. Very good. Rocio. Hello, teacher. What are you doing, Miss? <laughs> I see that you are talking with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the dinner, teacher. <laughs> ah, the dinner. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, Rocio, <clears throat> with who that with who does Mary play basketball? With uh, her friend. With her friends, piece of cake for you. <laughs> Thank you, Saira. Hi, teacher. Zaira. 
At what time does she have breakfast? Me voy a repetir la pregunta. What time does she have breakfast? What time does she have breakfast? ¿A qué horas tiene desayuno? ¿A qué hora desayuna? Uh, seven. Ajá. Seven. Seven with her. Seven. Half past seven. Half past half half seven. Half past seven. A las siete y media. Half past seven. At half past seven. Joana. Hi, teacher. What time does she get up? Seven. Mary, I get up seven o'clock. Mary gets up. Mary gets up. Exactly. Mary gets up. Mary Maurice. Gets up. Ajá, seven o'clock. Mauricio. Hi, teacher. What time does she go to sleep? Seven Time's up. No lo ubico. Ajá. Ah. It's by here. Uh, a ten o'clock. Okay, a ten o'clock. Salvador, I think so that you are the last one. Tell me, teacher. What time does she have dinner? What time does she have dinner? Por aquí, eh, para que no se pierda mucho. Salvador, are you still there? At the quarter past eight, teacher. At quarter past eight. ¿Quiénes me faltan, niños? Creo que me falta. Mi, ¿quién es mi? Bernardo. Bernardo y. Mi teacher. Sara, tell me names. Bernardo, Sara y. Mi teacher. Who is me? América. Ah, América. Sorry, América. Va. Perfecto. Bernardo. Yes. Bernardo. <laughs> When does she have piano lesson? When? When? Uh, she has piano lessons on Monday. Mondays and Wednesdays. Exactly, on Mondays and Wednesday. Very good. Sara. Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Very hey, good, Sara. <clears throat> when does she play basketball? Uh, when her play? Oh. When? 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 Play. When? Cuando? When does she play basketball? When? On Friday. On Friday. Ah, very good. Friday. On Friday. America. Yes, teacher. Where does she get dressed? Como? Where What? does she get dressed? A donde se viste? She's get uh, dressed in her in, in the bedroom. In the bedroom or in her bedroom. Exactly, guys. Okay, guys, this is just a review of the last topic, okay? That it was simple present, negative, affirmative, and reading something like that. But now we're gonna see, this is again a leisure. Do you have any leisure? Do you have any leisure? 
What is leisure? They are called leisure and sometimes they are called also hobbies. What are the hobbies? Okay, here we don't practice much, but in the USA they practice fishing, riding a horse, swimming, riding a bike, flying a kite. I think so that nobody fly, nobody flies a kite today because the roof of today, they are not so good to fly in a kite or to fly a kite. But in my times, yeah, it was it was I mean, it was like a adrenaline. It was like another stuff flying a kite. It was like a, a gas surfing the web. I think so that everybody does it. Okay, surfing the web. Drawing, some of you can practice drawing. Some other, some other you, they have leisure watching TV like me. I like to watch TV. Now I'm, I'm, I'm watching many, uh, many Chinese series. Going to the cinema is another leisure time or hobby. Cooking. I, I, there are people who likes to cook. Traveling, I think so that everybody wants to, wants to have this kind of leisure time because you need to have time and money. There are men and women, but almost uh, the most quantity are women that are shopping. Uh, you know shopping? Walking with a dog. Okay, walking with a dog. Este, playing phone games. Now there is an leisure activity. Reading, hanging now with the friends. Okay. Dancing, making videos, taking photos, singing, listening to music, playing the drums, playing the guitar, working out, doing gymnastic, playing football, skateboarding, and sky. Okay. Questions with this kind of leisure activities? Or do you have any other leisure activity? I'm, I'm gonna stop to, 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 to chair. Do you have another leisure activity or another hobby? Teacher. Hi. Who says teacher? Que mm, es hanging out. Uh, it's like uh, when you go out with your friends. Okay, that's it. Hanging out is like uh, to have a meeting with your friends. Okay, thank you. Any other question, guys, girls? Just Dra drawing, uh, teacher. Drawing. Dra drawing, drawing, uh -huh. drawing. When oh. you start to make pictures like Leon, like Leonardo, like Michelangelo, and something like that. When you start uh -huh. to picture the, the Mona Lisa and <laughs> something like that, in Los Campos Elíseos, and some other pictures, some other okay. famous pictures. That is drawing. Okay. Any other guy? Uh, mm -hmm. Any other? I have fishing. Let's gonna repeat fishing instead of fishing. Re reading a horse, swimming, riding a bike, riding, 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 riding is riding, riding, riding. Yeah, riding. Flying a kite. You know what is a flying a kite? You in the roof. Huh? Have you ever flied a kite? Float the kite. Surfing the web, drawing, watching TV, going to the cinema. Uh huh. Guys, any other question about these words? Or do you know every word? Do I have to share it with you again? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Those are leisure activities. Do you have any other one? Guys, nice. riding a horse, riding a bike, surfing the web, driving, because it, this vocabulary is going to be useful for the next activity. That's why you have to understand very well the vocabulary, the leisure activities, and everything, okay? Could be singing. Which is? Cantar. Ah, singing. Yeah, mm -hmm. singing. That's, it's here, singing. Ah, okay. Maybe doing exercise. Doing exercise. Yeah, that, it could be. Uh-huh, doing exercise that sometimes is like to working out. Working out means 
uh, go to the gym maybe, or working out is like to do exercises. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Read a book, nobody says read a book. That is an activity that has disappeared. Ha desaparecido leer libros. Yes. That is no good for the people to read a book. Huh? Uh, watch Netflix, watch Amazon TV. I mean, I don't know any other brand. Okay. <clears throat> try to try to repeat. Hold on. Okay, without open the mic because if we open the mic, okay, okay. So we have fishing, okay? Fishing, riding a horse, swimming. You have to say swimming. Swimming. Fishing. 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 Riding a horse. Riding a horse. Riding a horse. Riding a bike. Riding, Riding, a, bike. Riding a bike. Flying a kite. Flying a kite. Surfing the web. Surfing the web. web. Drawing. 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 Watching TV. Watching TV. Going to the cinema. Going to the cinema. Cooking. 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 Traveling. Traveling. Shopping. Shopping. Walking with a dog. Playing phone games. Playing phone games. Reading. 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 Hanging out with friends. Hanging out with friends. Dancing. Dancing. Making videos. Making videos. Taking photos. Taking photos. photos. Singing. Singing. Listen, listening to music. Listening to music. Listen to music. music. Playing the drums. Playing, Playing the drums. drums. Playing the guitar. Playing, Playing the, guitar. the guitar. Working out. Working out. 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 Doing gymnastics. Doing, Doing gymnastics. gymnastics. Playing football. Playing football. Skateboarding. Skateboarding. Skying. 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 I remember. Skying. I mean, let me see. Uh, it's skiing. It's, sorry, it's skiing. 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 You have to pronounce it. Skiing. 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 Because skying is the other stuff. Is skiing. Mm -hmm. Skiing. Uh -huh. Sky is the verb. Sky, but where the inflection is sky and skin. Skin. What about this? Ski is the sport. Uh huh. It's skis, skin. Ski. Uh huh. It's skin. Yeah, it's skin. Okay. Let's go with the topic. That's just the vocabulary, but the topic really, really is this one, okay? This is the frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. I think so that you have, you, you have used some of them, like usually, as by example, that is usually, but they have a definite percentage what you do the things. When you do the things like always, it's always, always is a hundred percent sure that you do the stuff. You do the stuff. As by example, you say, I always get up at five o'clock. Always is always. Ah, but you say, no, but uh, on, on, on Saturday and on Monday and Saturday and Sunday, I get up another hour so then you say usually or normally uh, i usually get up at five o'clock why because from maybe from 
from Monday to Saturday, you get up at five o'clock. But at what time do you get up on Sunday? Ah, no, teacher, on Sunday, I sleep very late. Maybe I didn't take lunch. I didn't take breakfast. That's why. So you said that it, no, it can be always, okay? Because always is when you are 100% sure about. You can, I mean, you can, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see something. Voy a desactivar el audio algunos. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Okay, so usually when you do the things 90%, normally when you do the things 80%, often when you do the uh, 70%, sometimes is, sometimes yes, sometimes not. It is 50-50, okay? Occasionally you do 30%. Seldom you say you, 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 you say 10%. Rarely or hardly ever you use 5%. And never, you say never. And never is never. Never say never. Never is never. I mean, I never have do something. As by example, in my case, I never have traveled to the USA. That's never. Never in my life, I have never traveled to the USA. Uh, what I can say that always, okay, I always check my social networks. Uh, I usually eat at seven o'clock. I normally, uh -huh, I normally check Twitter. I often check Instagram. Sometimes I check Pinterest. Occasionally I have traveled to Guatemala. I seldom uh, listen to ready listen to the radio. Okay, seldom listen to the radio. Uh huh. And rarely, rarely I don't know. I can say it and as an example. And that's the use that you can that you can do for these words, okay? These have this percentage. Okay, I mean, you have, you don't have to be with a, uh, with a re rule of three. No tiene que estar con una regla de tres. Pero se voy a ver si 100 veces hago esto y me pongo y empieza a hacer los cálculos. No, they don't have to be, you don't have to be a mathematician, okay? So just you have to understand how much does it mean, okay? ¿Cuánto puedo yo usar de, o sea, cuan, con cuánta frecuencia hago las cosas? That's the point. Okay. How do you use them? The questions to use this is how often. How often do you do something? Okay. <clears throat> how often do you do something? It's like example. Okay. And after, how often, the position of the adverb in a sentence. They are adverb. They are adverb of frequency. What is the position? An adverb of frequency goes before a main verb, excepto con el verbo to be. I always remember to do my homework. That's not true, but okay, we are gonna say that is yes. Okay, I always remember. He normally, y vean esto, importante, no pierde la regla de las terceras personas. El adverbio no anula la regla. He normally gets good marks in exams. Entonces, el adverbio va justo antes del verbo principal. ¿Cuál es la excepción? Ah, el verbo to be. Con el verbo to be, el verbo to be va primero. They are never pleased to see me. She isn't usually bad tempered. Ella no está usualmente de mal temperamento. That's not true also, but we are going to say yes. Vean las otras formas de contestar, porque esto les va a servir también. How often? How often? I want to know the, I want to know the frequency. How often do you brush your teeth? ¿Cuán, ¿Cuán a menudo se lava los dientes? 
vea esto. Primero decimos el número de veces. Once, luego la A, y luego el periodo de tiempo con un nombre en singular. Once a day, twice a week, three times. Deberíamos decir three times a day. Three times a month, four times a year. Ok. Ahora sí decimos el periodo de tiempo. Podemos decir estas palabras ya las aprendimos. Daily, weekly, monthly, annually. Ahora, we can use every, every two days o every day. Si es cada día o cada dos días. Cada tres días, cada cuatro días. Every es el cada. Luego el número, every four days, every three weeks, every four months. Si queremos decir periodo número. Ahora, si solo quiero decir periodo de tiempo, cada día, cada semana, cada mes. Veamos. She visits the dentist twice a year. ¿Cuántas? Dos veces al año. Okay. He goes to the gym three times a week. I call her daily. To make sure she's fine. Le llamo diariamente para saber que está bien. There is a leap day every four years. We pay our mortgage, mortgage every month. ¿Ok? Vea algo que es importante. No usamos one time. Decimos once. No usamos two times. Decimos twice. ¿Ok? Solo de three times para arriba si ya usamos three times. ¿Ah? Pero para decir uno o una vez, usamos once y dos veces twice. ¿Ok? Have you got clear this? ¿Ok, guys? Have you got clear this? Do you have any question? Hi. Who is asking me? Guys. ¿Alguien me preguntó? No. Guys, are you there? Or am I alone? No, teacher. Ah, ok. Do you have any question? It's clear, teacher. So, do you know then the words? Nobody asked me about the words. Do you know what it means, leap? Mm -hmm. Ajá. ¿Qué es el mismo mortgage? Son como, le quiero corroborar, sé que son, pero le quiero cor corroborar. Son, ajá, son como, ajá, son como, es cal, es como, es el impuesto sobre propiedad que hacen en los Estados Unidos. Ok, thank you. Exacto, es el impuesto sobre propiedad. Es como, no, no, no sé cómo hay aquí en español. Es, es impuesto sobre bienes y raíces, exactamente. That's mortgage. En LIP, nobody, nobody told me what is LIP. Salto. ¿Cómo? Salto. No, vi, realmente se traduce como bisiesto. Ah, LIP day. Ajá, en este caso es Leap Gear. Por eso es que dice There is a Leap Day every four years. Sí, en este caso es como, ajá, es como bisiesto. Hay un día bisiesto o un año más, un, daño, un año que se salta. Ajá, que es el famoso 29 de febrero. Ok. Uh -huh. Is everything clear with that topic, guys? Yes or not? Yes, sir. it's clear. Okay. Those are in the those are in the manual. They, in, in fact, I have taken from the manual. Okay, let's gonna see the pronunciation of everyone. I'm gonna share my screen again, and please let's go for pronunciation. Okay. Let me see something. Pronunciation. Always. 
Open always. your mix, please. Always. 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 Yeah. Usually. 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 No me diga usually, es usually. 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 Exactly. Normally. 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 Often. 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 Casi no se pronuncia mucho often. la T. O realmente se diría como often, often, pero generalmente la gente ya cuando lo pronuncia dice how often. How often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. 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 Seldom. Seldom. No es Sheldon, ¿verdad? Es Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Or rarely. 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 And never. 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 Como cantaban allá por la juventud. Never, never say never. No. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody remember? No. Okay. I don't remember. No, I don't remember. Never say never. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, those are the adverbs of frequency. Let me see. Hi. Este, ¿qué significa often? No often. Uh -huh. Ah, the translation. Always es siempre. Usually es usualmente. Normally es normalmente. Often es a menudo. Uh -huh. Sometimes es algunas veces. Occasionally es ocasionalmente. Seldom es. Mm, este, ¿qué es seldom? Algo así. Raramente. Como... Ajá, sí, pero eh, ajá, no, ajá. Pero es que, ajá, pero raramente es también rarely. Ra mm. Aunque rarely creo que se traduce también escasamente. Como casi nunca. Ajá, casi nunca. Seldom, ajá, pues es rara vez. Uh -huh. Exacto, rara vez. Eh, rarely es casi nunca y never, exacto. Y never es never. Uh -huh. Never es nunca. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question, girls, guys? Teacher. Hi. O sea que early ever y rarely lo mismo. Exactly. Okay. They Thank are the you. same. Uh-huh. That's the point, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in this case, you have the example, how do we use the adverbs? I think so that we don't have any problem with. Okay. I'm gonna stop to share my screen. Almost we have full, we have full house. I'm gonna go with the attendance again, because they are nine or two. America, I don't see America. Oh no, America is here. Ok, América Beatriz García Herrera. Present, teacher. Remember that this one, this is for the one I didn't mention in the first, ok. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Mauricio Alexander Majano Escobar. Present, teacher. Ah, ok. París Abraham Rivera López. Present, teacher. Very good. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubillas. Present teacher. Very good. Saúl Adolfo Beltán. Saúl. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. No. Nancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Present. Solo Saúl Bachi. He was here. What happened to Saul? I don't know. Okay, because he was here. I saw him before. Okay, after that, we have to go to... <clears throat> oh my God, what I did. No, okay. We have to go to the page, okay? 
listen to me, guys. I will send you to you the page. But I mean, and I have leave the spaces to answer them. But before to answer them, I the, the, the main point that I need you to do is to practice. I mean, so don't misunderstand me. Okay, don't, don't misunderstand me. I mean, if you want to write down, write down. But the point is that you have to speak in English. I remember since the first course, I told you that I don't, I don't want to see everybody. Sí, lo digo en español y me trazo este momento. Mire, yo hablo español, vaya, hable, no. Y tal vez uno que escribiera en chino o algo así, pero que usted diga, mire, yo hablo español, vaya, hablemos, pues, así como cuando está la gente esperando en los aviones. Ya visto cuando están saliendo del aeropuerto. Fulanito de tal, así no quiero yo que usted me diga, mire, teacher, le completé toda la hoja, vaya, hoy hablemos. Es que, es que me da pena, es que cuesta pronunciarlo. No quiero eso. De verdad, se los he dicho miles de veces. Se lo voy a decir, le pondría más 10 si empezamos a hablar, aunque me tuviera vacías las hojas. Pero cuando él le diga, hey, come on, how often do you do something? Okay, oh, teacher, you know, I, do, I, I, I usually go this. Mire, la hoja no la completó, sí, pero habló. Con eso he ganado bastante. Ahora, si puede hacer las dos, mucho mejor. Pero yo lo que necesito es, o sea, está bien, contéstela, porque lo escrito también es necesario. Pero mi mayor punto es que usted hable. I mean, this is a communicative approach. I mean, you need to speak. Cuando vaya a su trabajo, usted le van a decir, hey, usted está aprendiendo inglés, y si no, pregúntenle aquí. Ya dije a Nuria, ahí de vez en cuando le toca que está llamando a gente en inglés, y, y si le toca a usted, que usted diga, sí, a mí, aunque sea aprender, hola, hello, y pase por aquí, le va a decir, siquiera eso. O sea, hey, come on, so follow me. Ya siquiera la gente, hey, come on, what's up. O sea, pero si usted dice, y hey, usted está aprendiendo inglés, y pero fíjate que yo solo escribí allá en la clase, o fíjate que yo solo completaba lo que el profe decía. Ah, come on. I don't want to listen to. ¿Ah? De verdad, y se lo digo muy claramente, y, y perdónenme a veces mi sinceridad, mi honestidad, pero eso es de verdad lo que necesito. ¿Ok? So, then, I will, I will give it to you the page. Les doy ahorita la página. Está para que la contesten. Pero el punto es, mire, profe, casi no la vamos a contestar porque no la estoy revisando. Pero vamos a hablar. Fantastic, okay? Fantastic, guys. If you start to speak and I, I get in in the breakout rooms and everybody's speaking, fantastic, okay? It, it, it will be awesome. So, sería incredible, amazing, okay? Pero si usted lo hay así como, ¿qué pena ese teacher? Estamos contestando la, la 50. ¿Y qué ha hablado? Nada, teacher, es que vamos a contestar, o sea, come on, okay? Más que, sí, algunas sí, pero en este caso, la que le voy a dar, si tiene los espacios para contestar, para please, si solo dos contesta, por lo menos escritas, y las, todas las demás orales, ya ganamos, ya le, con, perdónenme, como decimos el buen salvadoreño, ya la hicimos. Ok, pero si me las contesta todas y cuando yo le digo, vaya, hable, eh, te espera, se voy a ver la paginita. Come on. Ok, so, I will send it to you the page now. It's now, now, now. So, oh my God, 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 oh my God. Right, that's it. And I'm going to do the breakout rooms, ok. Okay. Uh, oh, I, it's here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's here. Okay, so it's the page. I'm gonna do the breakout rooms. I think so, it's fine. Two, two, uh, one is going to be of three. Okay. It's there.
Okay, well, Janira, are you there? That's what it was like. Uh, contestar, verdad? What I said? <laughs> yeah, you can answer them, but orally. Yeah, orally. En la última parte sí tienen que poner de sus amigos algunas cosas que ellos hacen en sus trabajos, en la otra parte. Pero en la primera, eh, pues pueden contestar la escrita, pero si quieren, me interesa más que lo hagan oral. Ok, um, teacher. Yeah, de que se pregunten entre ustedes, hey, how often, I don't know, how often do you go to the churches, by example, I think so that is one of the questions that is there. How often do you, I mean, how often do you, Y usen, o sea, y ya usen oralmente, ah, I go to the church, I, I, I normally go to the church, yo normalmente voy a la iglesia, oh, I never go to the church, I don't, I don't know, I mean, but you have to use, how, how often do you take your English book to study? Vaya, esa está buena, how often do you take your English book to study? Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. How often do you take your English book to study? No, tengo problemas con el internet. Sí, así veo. Clary Rosales, how often do you take your book of English to study? ¿Cuál es, teacher? Ah, ya va. No es más que cuál es. Escuche la pregunta. How often do you take your English book to study? <ríe> Ocasional. O Occasional. Ah, vaya, okay, pero ya, ver, ya, ya va entendiendo. Ese es el punto más que dejen de saber. ¿Cuál es la que me está preguntando? Y por eso no les puse el número, Ajá. fíjense. Ajá. Número cuatro. Era, o sea, es no. verdad. That's the point. Thank you, Tish. Ok. Ah, va, no, va, problem. Va. no problem. No okay. problem. Hello, teach. Hello, oh, teacher. Okay. No problem, guys. Okay. Remember the point that you can uh, you can. Uh, no problem can... con esta gran bulla de acá y escucha por libras. <laughs> sí, es cierto. Bueno, pues ni modo, hay que trabajar ahí, Jorge. So sorry for you. But the point is that. Sí, uh, me he tenido que venir a esconder ahorita para ver si escucho. <laughs> y eso que está con audífonos, verdad? Sí. Oh my God. So then you have to answer between yourself. You have to ask between yourself, guys. Pregúntense entre ustedes, ¿ok? Y, y por eso no le puse número para que no estén. ¿Y cuál me estás preguntando? ¿Vos la número uno? ¿O la número cuatro? ¿La número cinco? No, solo para, <laughs> para que se pierdan eso de qué. ¿Y cuál es? Ah, espérate, tú vas a contestar. No, hombre. Son, pre algo? son preguntas las que nos tenemos que hacer aquí. Ay, es que solo eso es la página, Jorge. Solo son teacher, preguntas. Hi. Teacher, ¿y la, ¿y la forma de responder? Con los que les acabo de dar, Salvador. Ok. Como por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, Salvador, how often do you read? Ah, sí, o sea, entiendo eso, pero si la... ¿Cuál sería la respuesta suya? Ah. Mm. Really? No. Entonces, ¿cuál es el adverbio que le acabo de dar? I never read a book. I never read. Ah, ok. ¿Me entiende? O sea, o por ejemplo, always, always I read. O sea, para eso eran los adverbios que le di, como always, sometimes, occasionally, normally, hardly ever, todo eso. De eso ah, se trata no, es que, es, que, es que sí me, me refería a si íbamos a usar algún tipo de auxiliar o algo así, pensaba yo. Fíjese que no, realmente, realmente ya aquí no, no se, digamos, no hay auxiliares, solo, solo eso tienen que recordar. O sea, por lo menos ahorita los adverbios. Y, por, y en la segunda parte pregúntele a sus compañeros acerca del trabajo, dice en la segunda parte de la página. Que, okay. Por ejemplo, how often do you have meetings? How often do you check emails? How often do you go to the bank en, en, en su caso? O sea, cosas así, ya preguntas que ustedes crean o que ustedes hacen, ¿ok? Ok. Class. My English book. To study. Recording in progress. 
my, my English book to study. To study. To study. Uh huh. Uh huh, Rocío. How often? Ya la contesté. No, ella ah. me preguntó a mí. Ah. Vaya, pero por eso no le puse número para que no estén. ¿Cuál me está preguntando? Sino que ellas sean más naturales. Por ejemplo, Nuria, how often do you practice sports? Le escuché como, como cortado, pero... Ah, ok. Now, how often do you practice sports? Um, I practice sport usually. usually. Ah, vaya, una cosa. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué decía la regla ahí? Practice. Exacto. Que la regla dice okay. que primero va el sujeto, luego va el adverbio y luego va el verbo. I usually practice sport. Rocío. Tell me, teacher. How often do you go to the shopping mall? I sometimes go to the shopping mall. 50-50. Mm, good, good. <laughs> America. Yes, teacher. How often do you go to the doctor? Uh, I... I go, I go, usually. I usually go, go, I usually go. I usually go to the, the go to the doctor. Exactly. Abraham. Hello. How often do you eat fast food? Uh, uh, I rarely eat fast food. Ah, ok, very good. Va, yeah. Esa es la mística, niños, que vayan preguntando si así, y más que cuál es la que me están preguntando, que, pregun que contesten naturally, ok? Ok. Questions, girls? No? Okay. No for the moment. Excellent. Fatima oh. is having problem with the internet because She, she's gone. Se ha ido otra vez. Está teniendo problemas con el internet fácil. Maybe it's raining. Yeah, maybe it's raining. Raining, it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, yeah, it's raining. Fatima, you are having problems with the internet. Is it raining? No, no, not yet. <laughs> oh, well, but maybe, maybe, uh -huh, maybe near, maybe nearby to you, it's raining. And maybe it's an electric, it's an electric storm. Okay, yeah. then do you have any problem with the points? No, are you questioning between you without any problem? No, for the moment, no. Okay, thank you. So I want to listen to you speaking in English then. Continue, please. Ignore me. In this case, ignore me. Yeah. Daily. Daily. Daily what? Daily. Well, ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? Who, who often do you practice sport? How often? No es who often. How often? How, how often? How often do you practice sport? Daily. Daily. Joana, yeah. daily. Uh, Joana, what what ex, what what sport do you practice, Joana? He cambiado mi rutina. Hoy hoy estoy haciendo Ay, ¿cómo se llama esto? Voleibol. No, 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 no sé si se considera un deporte, pero es de como un ejercicio. Ay, pero tiene un nombre, se me ha olvidado ahorita. Cardio, spinning, yoga. Es similar al cardio, similar. Ah, ok. So maybe I mean, it's, an, it's an exercise, because all my, all my sports, I like, like chess. El único deporte no físico es el chess. ¿Qué es eso? Ajedrez. Ah. That's. O sea, Pero más hoy empecé que... porque estoy en un reto. <risa> de 21 días. Ok, so it's good. Ok, continue guys speaking in English. Ignore, ignore me, please. Please ignore me. Ignoring me. Ustedes continúen. A ver. Often do you read? No le escuché, perdón. 
how often do you read? Yeah, I know. I I sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, I I read me. Read. Read. Uh -huh. Read. Uh -huh. read. Sí. I sometimes yes. read a book. Yo algunas veces, 50 50 leo un libro. I no, sometimes. Un cinco de cien. <laughs> ah, pues no, no es sometimes. <laughs> ah, well, right, really. 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 Right. Really. Yeah, really. That's it, really. Right. That's why. <laughs> exactly, Clary, Rosalis. Really. Okay, teacher. Really. Okay. Yeah. Right. Continue. Ignore me. Continue ignoring me. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Teacher. Hi. I, I have we have one question. And the structure for the answer we can use the adverb to the end to the sentences like uh, uh, I eat the hamburger always. ¿Cómo, or, cómo, cómo? Or, a ver, ¿qué me dice? Excuse me, what, what, are, you, what are you trying to tell me? Teníamos una duda con Salvador que eh, si pudiésemos utilizar el adverbio al final de las frases o siempre lo tenemos... De que... Los de frecuencia casi no se usan, los de frecuencia casi no se usan. Los, algunos otros adverbios sí se usan al final, pero los de frecuencia casi siempre van en ese orden en el que les di. Tal cual como la, la estructura gramatical. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que si le digo tal cual, posiblemente se haya con alguna frase que me diga, mire, pero aquí lo tenía al final. O sea, el inglés yo ya le he dicho que tiene 100 reglas y mil excepciones. Pero por mm. lo menos para, para aprender, eh, basémonos en la estructura de que va primero el sujeto, luego el, el, luego el adverb y luego el, 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 el verbo. O sea, que por ejemplo... I usually eat hamburgers, por ejemplo. I usually eat hamburgers. I never eat a hamburgers, sorry. I never eat tacuacin, as by example. I don't know, I mean. O sea, ese es el punto, por lo menos. Para, so we have to keep the structure, okay? Okay, thank you. Here. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Salvador. Uh, Tell Vinny, me. How often do you use the internet? Excellent. I always use the internet. Exactly. Aunque en esa frase ever de Jesús es más en, en inglés casi es surf. On the internet. Surf. surf on the internet. Surf. Surfear en la internet. The uh, surf thing. Surf on the internet. Why did you? Eso es, lo, eso es en realidad, de hecho, que es surfear o navegar? ¿Qué es lo que realmente hace? Más que usar, el verbo usar en inglés tiene otra connotación. Por eso es que es más navegar o surfear en internet. Mm -hmm. usar, es, usar es más algo físico. Más práctico, como, como ya Ajá, más como tangible. Ajá. Exacto. Es como que usted me pregunte, ya lo he dicho, la diferencia entre do y make. Los dos son hacer. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Do es para cuando haces algo más mental. Make es cuando haces algo, pero de construir. Ok. Como la... ¿La cuatro? ¿La cinco? Come on, girl. Come on. Open checks. Add emails. Check, check your email. Uh -huh. How often do you check your emails? Uh -huh. Eh, eh, en América o Abraham. How often, how often do you play you? with your? Uh -huh. How often do you play with your phone? How often do you work? No, that's your question. <laughs> how yes. often do you play with your phone in your work? In your work. <laughs> <laughs> in the lunch. Don't, don't lie, no, no mientan, no digan never, ok? No, cuando puedo, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, ok. So, este caja, when it's possible, maybe. Um. Hmm. 
a menudo. Yo ah, sé que often, 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 what about oh, hey, yes. good. I mean, you are drink happy. Drink coffee, are teacher. Huh? All day. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Three times a day. Very good. Very good question. How often do you drink coffee? Very good. Yes. Uh huh. Very good question. I see that you are having fun here. Very good. Continue. Having fun. Okay. How often do you go for? Walk. Vanessa. Ah, how often do you go to for a walk? Walk. Yeah. A walk. A walk. Um, mm -hmm. Often. I often. I often go for a walk. Yo a menudo voy salgo a caminar. I often go for a walk. No solo me digan el adverbio, díganme toda la frase. I often go for a walk. O sea, yo a menudo voy a caminar, por ejemplo. Oh, okay. okay. Recommendation series. Clary Rosales. Hello, teacher. I am here to tell you that you have to be with me until 10 10. Okay, teacher. You know that? Do you know Ready. it? Excellent. That's the attitude. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Continue, girls, because okay. you're just girls. This is the girls' group. Yes. No men here. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Come on, continue speaking, girls. Continue. Do you fry the verdad? Or you, or you can make the question, how often do you go to the doctor? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. What is the question? How often do you go to the doctor? It's okay. Rarely. I rarely go to the doctor. Oh, what's the point? Rarely. Really, o sometimes, de esos que pasan en el seguro, 50-50, mitad trabajando y mitad en el seguro. <laughs> it, depends on, it depends on you, okay? okay no, oh. there, there, are people, there are people that they, they are very sick and they are half, half, uh, sometimes, huh? 50-50. Tres días en el trabajo, tres días en el seguro. I mean, a veces es condición de salud a cada quien conoce, pero there are people that is like that. Mm -hmm. Ya I tiró la know. piedra. I don't know, people. <laughs> Ustedes a ver de quién se acordó. Acuérdense que está riendo de alguien, de un compañero de trabajo. ¿Se acordó? Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> Jorge Menos todavía se acuerda de todos los empleados ahí, de algunos. Ya, ya se dijo de hacer a cada uno. Cada uno. Pues se el espejo. <laughs> Continue, guys, continue. Ah. Okay, teacher. Who can often play a point in the office? Mm -hmm. How often what? And for who is the question? America. No entiendo bien la pregunta. Vaya, repeat it, please. Often Usted diga entonces, please. Fun? How often do you play fun? Ah, eh, I, I normally to play. Play, play with my phone. Play with my phone. Ajá, uh -huh, play with my phone. Hey, guys, remember that also you have to work on the next part. También recuérdense que tienen que trabajar en la otra parte que es preguntarle a sus colegas cosas acerca del trabajo. ¿Mm? En la parte que está abajo. Oh, okay. sí, en esa parte estamos ahorita. Ah, excelente. Pero, ajá, pero son más relacionadas con el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Sí. Ok. Sí. Ok. 
So then continue. Okay. I'm not here. Two, two time, two time a month. What? Dos veces al mes. Twice a month. Uh, twice a month. Uh -huh. Twice a month. Mm -hmm. Twice. Twice, yeah. Twice. Yes. Twice. Como cuando le contaban a las niñas en inglés el cuento. ¿Cómo empieza en inglés? Once upon a time, érase una vez de Cinderella was a girl, a poor girl living with the foster mother viviendo con su madrastra. And he, Yo con sueño y usted can, contando cuentos voy a dormir. That is, that is, uh, no dwarf, okay? la, semis, la, la, la blanca es no guay en Seven Dwarfs. La, la blanca nieve y los siete enanos. O, oh, I mean, Red Hood, I think. The Red Hood is, yeah. Red Hood, Cinderella, the, best, the, the, the Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Sleeping, okay. So then continue the speaking girls, okay? <laughs> okay. I have a meeting twice a month. Twice a month. Excellent. Dos veces al mes. Yes. Ah, very good. Three times. Over three times. Ah, yeah, you say, I have a, uh -huh. twice, uh, twice, twice a month or three times a month. Very good. What about you, Bernardo? Vuelvale a hacer la pregunta para que, se, para que la mastericen. Yes. How often do you have a meeting in New York? Ah, puede ser así. Eh. How? Three times. Three times. Exacto. Twice a, a month. Three times a month. Three times a day. Todo eso también lo di. Exacto, Mauricio. ¿Cuántas veces toma café al día? How, may, how often do you drink coffee? Mm -hmm. Never. Never. What do you drink? Water. Water, just water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you because you don't drink coffee. <laughs> Water. Fresco. No sé cómo se dice fresco. Drink. I mean, eh, na na natural drinkings. Bebidas naturales. Oh, drinking But listen to me, Johanna. I'm going to pray for you a lot. <laughs> Zaira, why you are smiling, Zaira? <laughs> What? I'm gonna pray for Joanna because she doesn't she doesn't like to drink coffee. <laughs> no le gusta eso. Yeah. Se lo ah, he pero nunca lo ha probado o qué lo ha dejado. O él ha dejado sí me gusta, o sea, sí lo sí, sí lo pruebo, pero no, no lo consumo. ¿Él, él, él la dejó a usted o usted lo dejó a él? <laughs> Yo lo dejé. <laughs> you were oh good. Why? El es fiel, he is very faithful, okay, you know. <laughs> Quizás por el trabajo que tenía cuando estaba más pequeña con mis papás, ah. cuando me tocaba desayunar, me tocaba desayunar rápido. Entonces okay. no tenía tiempo para tomarme un café, me tomaba fresco. Entonces me acostumbré. No. I'm gonna pray for you too much. <laughs> continue working, guys, continue. Speak in English, please. Okay, okay. I, I love it dancing. Uh -huh. I, don't I love, love it dancing. Yes. I do not love dancing. I, I am love. drunk. I don't love. Oh, drunk I don't like. Tronco es drunk. Trunk. 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 I am drunk. <laughs> no. <I am> <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flor. Flor, come on. <laughs> yes. I am a drone, you said. I am a drone. <laughs> you are yes. like a teacher. No, ni siquiera eso se hace. Teacher, how often Hi. will you dance? How often do you? Will you dance? No, how often do you? Ah, do you? Yeah. Do you dance, teacher? How? Ah. Uh, so. 
how hardly ever I hardly ever dance. Uh, I mm. don't remember when was the last time that I that I danced. I listen to music, I like to read, I like to watch TV. That's mm. things that I do almost uh, almost often or usually, but dance not too much. I don't remember when was the last time that I danced. Okay. But I, 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 but I can. I am not like Flor. <laughs> I can. I, when, when, when I was younger, I can, I, I can dance the uh, salsa, merengue, and other stuff. But now I don't dance. Nada. <laughs> 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 well, come on, Flor. Para al menos ya aprendió a decir I am a trunk. Si le invitan a bailar en un baile norteamericano, va a decir I am a trunk. So sorry. No, don't invite me. I am a trunk. <laughs> I am a drone. Come on, <laughs> Oh my God. I no, am a drone. <laughs> you, never, you never will forget that phrase. No one will be that as a phrase, niños. No, teacher. <laughs> ya la tengo lista por si acaso. Hace en fiesta de fin de año en, en la empresa. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Maybe a, a, a un gringo, si sí, un gringo llega por allá a la fiesta. No, sorry, I am a trunk. <laughs> okay, girls. At work. How often do you have on in the work? ¿Cómo? How often do you have on in the work? Do you what? No, estamos formulando otras preguntas. Que, no, está bien, que... perfecto. ¿Con qué frecuencia te amonestan en el trabajo? Pero por ah, llegar, how often do you? That is in English. It's like a, how, are you, how often are you late for work? But the consequence for this? Yeah, is, I know, but it is personal action. I mean, oh, uh, I mean, uh -huh, that uh, is a personal a personal action. O en inglés es como bueno una de las palabras que usan que usa el inglés que la, en el otro equipo decía, había, tenía otro jefe, así como alguien que no está con cámara encendida, pero que me está viendo, <ríe> decía, <ríe> decía, scold. Scold es como regañar o llamar la atención. Scold. Uh -huh. Scold. Scold. Me decía él, I have to scold my team. Tengo que regañar a mi equipo. <ríe> Después salió que hoy es one to one, le llaman en otra empresa, decía él, en otra organización. O sea, dicen one to one. One to one, decía que aplicaban ellos, es como, voy a invitar a un café. Vamos, y ahí te voy a dar la pesposeada. Ahí es el postre, le digo. Claro, o sea, a tomar el café y después la pesposeada. Ah, a mí, son cosas que uno aprende en el medio, niños. Ah, I, 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 I never le voy a There is a school. I mean, how, how, how many, uh, how often, uh, uh, solo que en este caso es, ajá, uh -huh, how often, uh, how often do you be a school? Algo así es como, sos amonestado. Do you be a school? Ajá. Uh -huh. How That's often do you be, be a school? School. Ajá. Veamos qué otras palabras hay para eso. Ya le voy a, uh, a investigar. This is a new... Es que admo admonish es cierto, es la que usted dice, que aparece comúnmente en el traductor, pero ahorita oh, vemos. Ajá, admonish. Pero es que es una conjunción. Ajá. Reprove, criticize. Vaya, pero uno de los, ya ve que uno de los, de uno, uno de los sinónimos es scold. Ajá. How often. También esta creo que es. Scold. Ajá. Repent. Que todos son. Reprender. Ajá. Slam. Ajá. También es un, es un slang usar esta, kick off. O sea, es decir, un slang quiere decir que es algo que la gente usa ya como, 
¿cómo le puedo decir un slam? Es como algo así como que, que decir bayunco. Bayunco es un slam salvadoreño. Entonces, si usted, si usted le pregunta a un gringo qué es bayunco, no le va a saber contestar, pero nosotros ya sabemos que un bayunco es un bayunco, ¿ok? Entonces, ese sí. kickoff es como que me llamaron la atención. Ey, ajá, ey, déjate que va, me llamaron la atención, pero así como que, ey, they kick off me. Viene siendo como el lenguaje coloquial. Exacto, así es. Pero ellos que sí así es eso es el lenguaje coloquial ¿ah? cercano al callejero con niga bro ¿Ah? ¿Ah? como cuando dicen negro ajá como niga exacto solo que es una ofensa pero sí es un lenguaje bien callejero sí o sea entre coloquial y lo que pasa es que el lenguaje cabal se divide en eso es como el slang creo que es el más bajo luego está el coloquial y luego está el lenguaje estándar que ya es un lenguaje formal, es en el que hablan los políticos. Yo una vez oí un, un, un discurso de Condoleezza Rice y habla, o sea, habla un lenguaje bien estándar. Entonces, that's the point. Ajá. Exacto, entonces la, la, el punto es, how, how often eh, do you be scold? Algo así como, ajá, ¿cuántas veces sos, eh, te llaman la atención? Exacto. Ajá. One también, one también es que es Juan es también como advertencia, como te advierten. Juan, por ejemplo. Ajá. Sí. Juan. Juan. Ajá. W-A-R-N. Juan. Exactly, Juan. That is warning, yeah. Do you... How often do you uh, shower your pet? Shower? Your, your pet. pets? Uh, I always uh, Ever. What, what, what pets do you have, Rocio? What, teacher? What pets do you have? Or what kind of pets do you have? Or how many pets do you have? I, I don't have pet, teacher. Ah, that's why. I mean, that was the question of Paris, ¿no? Abraham, esa fue la pregunta, ¿va? Yes. No. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cuántas yes. veces baña a su mascota? ¿Cuántas veces baña a su mascota? Por eso es que dije, always, y yo siempre. Wow, come on. Todos los días. Oh. Yo yeah, that's eso. why. Uh, hi, Rosy, what are you doing? I mean, where are you? I never. <laughs> I never, because I don't have, that's why. I was, I mean, <laughs> I, you, I, think, I was thinking that you have something, even a dog, you cannot, you cannot the weekend. shower a dog, yeah, maybe weekend or maybe twice a week, maybe. Twice a week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. twice, twice a week, maybe. Well, but I don't know because I never have have, have pets, but I think so. And even the cats, I think so that you cannot uh, shower them every single week or every single day. That's why I was, I was amazing always. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, guys. Just five minutes more and after we go out, okay? okay. Remember that okay. you have to complete the last part of the, of, of the page that it, it is about your, your co-workers, no? Or, 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 or your classmates. Really, so then get don't get bored. Continuous practicing, continuous. I mean, also you can create another questions that they are not in the page. I mean, as Abraham says, I think so that that, that question was not on the page, was it, Abraham? Esa, es, ¿Verdad que esa pregunta no estaba en la página o estaba? No. 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 Pueden ir creando, no, okay? Pueden ir, a, pueden ir haciendo más preguntas, okay? Okay. Four. Never. I know. I can write. What? Daily. Because I can write. I ask how often do we try to do our work? Do we try do to? To our work or to my work. How often uh -huh. I write to my work. I try what? Vicky. The car, I. I suppose that she that she want that she is talking about the car. The car, I mean drive. Ah drive. drive. How often do you drive your work your 
Uh, how often do you drive to your work? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Huh? That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. How often yes, do yes. you drive to your work? Yes. ¿Cuán a menudo manejas a tu trabajo? Yes. Mm -hmm. How often? I said never because I can't drive. Ah, you can drive. You don't have license. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you don't have, yeah, you don't have license. Ah, that's it. Very good. So, continues. You are doing good. Just three minutes and we go out of the breakout rooms. Okay, guys? Okay. Mm -hmm. don't, don't get Good bored, job. please. Do you have any question, Bernardo? No. No. Very quiet here. What's happening? What's happening here? Nobody's here. Zaira, Mauricio, and Joanna. Ya terminaron de hablar, niños. No, cuando usted entró nos quedamos mudos. Ah, yeah. You are deaf. No, come on. Yes. Do you have any ¿Ah? Estamos en la segunda parte. Ah, okay. So we're asking about your coworkers. What if, how often do they have meeting? How often do you drink coffee? How often do you check email? Something like that? Is it? Yes. Ah, okay, sí. very good. Wow. How often are you late for work? Ah, how often? Yeah. I you... was late. <laughs> how often are you late for work? Are you oh. later? I mean, uh huh. How often are you later? Are you late? About late is the verb. Are you later? What is it? Are you late? How often are you late? Are you late? Late is a noun. I mean, uh, I'm confused with. No, but continue, continue speaking. Just I want to check something. Okay. Okay. Uh, no sé qué me preguntar ahora. How oh, often? Arrive. Do arrive. you arrive? Arrive at the world. Ah, uh, do you arrive? Pero okay. qué? How often do you arrive late? Do you arrive on time? On time. Ajá. ¿Cuánta, ¿Cuán a menudo llega a tiempo a su trabajo? Almost never. ¿Cómo? <laughs> I never. Oh my God. Nah. Almost Sometimes. always you have to say, casi siempre. Uh -huh. eh, esa, esa expresión esa, ajá, cómo se pronunciaba la de como casi siempre rarely, no sé no rarely. Puede... Uh, rarely o hardly ever rarely 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 rarely, rarely. 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 ok uh, thank you you're welcome Before an hour. Okay, so now another one is missing. Now again, we got twenty. She lies the wind through my dreams. She right nice next to me. Okay. So you have seen the uh, questions. How often do you do something? Okay. And the point is that you have to use some adverbs. Oh, let me see what's that. Some adverbs, some frequency adverbs. Okay. That is the com that is the one that we learn. Okay. It means like uh, rarely 
este, hardly ever, never, seldom, uh, usually, often, it depends on the frequency that you do something, okay? So let's gonna see with the questions for me, also, but I can do without page, but I would like to use the page. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, let me see, there is no, okay. So, two, 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 two. Ah, there is another page. This is, okay, Rocio. Tell me, teacher. How often do you arrive late to your work? <laughs> Come oh, on, <laughs> when you're driving. <laughs> What's up? I know, I normally. Okay, normally. Arrive late at work. <laughs> that is normally. Very good. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, Rocio. Very good. Bernardo. Yes, teacher. Do you practice any sport, Bernardo? Yes, I practice football. What? Yes, I practice football. Football. Ah, how often do you practice soccer? Uh, once a week. Once a week. Very good. Yancy. Yes. Uh, do you read? How, oh, do you read any book? Or do you do you like to read? No. <laughs> No, I like. <laughs> I often, okay. That's why. No, no, no. <laughs> Very good. Thank you again for you. Honesty. I like it. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, another question. Nancy, how often do you go to the dentist? Oh, today. What? Yes, today. <laughs> today. I mean, how often? How often? I mean, today uh, you work, but how I often? Twice, in, twice, twice a year. Twice, twice a year. Twice a year. Ah, okay, very uh, good. Twice a year. Sarah. And today. <laughs> and today was one the time. Yeah, good. Anderson. I think I... Sarah. Do you like to buy clothes? I... Listen to uh, me first the question. No, listen to me first the question. Sarah, listen to me. Do you like to buy clothes? Buy clothes. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you like to buy clothes? Le gusta oh, comprar yes. ropa? Yes, yes. Yes, what? Um, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do occasionally. No, but say, yes, I do. Primero una pregunta. Yes, Así como, okay. yes, yes, yes I, I do. I do. Ah, and, uh, y después me contesta la otra. How often do you go to... Do you go to Buy classes. Occasionally. Occasionally, I go to buy classes. Traten de contestar sí. completely, okay? Okay. okay. Occasionally, buy classes. I, en okay. inglés no existen los sujetos tácitos. Siempre dices, I. I. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I occasionally go. Occasionally go. Buy classes. To buy classes. Diana Martinez. <clears throat> Yes, teacher. Do you like candies, Diana? Yes, I do. How often And do I you like eat candies? Uh, <laughs> all, always. <laughs> always. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Nuria. Yes, teacher. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. How How often do you like, how often do you eat chocolates? Uh, every day, chocolate. <laughs> you every day eat chocolate. Come on. Yes. <laughs> you are a chocolate holic. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Um, <laughs> a little bit. Voy uno por uno. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Ah, okay. Ever. <clears throat> I hear you. Do you like fast food ever? Yes, I like. Okay, 
how often do you eat fast food? Uh, uh, once a week. Oh my God. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Flor. Yes, teacher. Do you have do you do you have English classes, Flor? Yes, I do. Excellent. How often do you have English classes, Flor? How often? Ah. Mm. <laughs> I often English class. I often have. I often have English class at English eight. classes. English classes. In, es in, es una I, no le ponga la e, English class. English class. Exactly. Very good, thank you. Vicky. Yes, teacher. Vicky, do you like junk food? Junk food. Exactly. What meaning junk? What meaning junk? It's the same of fast food, but the point is like they do uh, outside, like choripanes, as my example. I like. <laughs> That's why. Do you yes, like? I do. Junk, I mean, fast food, niños, es como la comida rápida. Y la junk food es la comida rápida, solo que preparada, preparada fuera de los restaurantes. Le conocen como comida chatarra. O sea, ambas dicen son comida chatarra, pero la Fast food es como la comida rápida hecha en restaurantes y junk food es comida hecha fuera de restaurantes. Por ejemplo, los famous and delicious choripanes, I think so that everybody likes. I think so. Okay, how often do you eat junk food, Vicky? Usually twice a month. Okay, very good. Very good. Joana. Good okay. How often do you answer you, your phone at your work? No, I didn't <laughs> How often do you answer your phone or the phone at your work? I don't know. In <laughs> Come on. ¿Cuán a menudo contesta el teléfono en su trabajo? Ay, ah, come on, that's it, teacher. I got in the tip of the tongue. Lo tenía en la punta. Always, no. Always, no. <laughs> always, always, um, my cell phone. Really? Your cell phone and also the, 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 the telephone. Mm. Okay. Veamos. Fátima. Yes, teacher. How often do you speak with your boss, Fátima? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Okay. Yeah. Every day you speak with your boss. Mauricio. Yeah. Thank you, Fátima. You're welcome. Fatima, but sorry, Mauricio. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Mauricio, do you check the financial reports? Uh, yes, I do. How often do you check the financial reports, Mauricio? Uh, always. I al always check the financial reports. Okay. Vaya, niños, eh, igual va, está bien. Pero también puede decir cada día, porque always es como que solo eso pasa haciendo y no tiene vida. You understand? Oh, okay. No, está bien, o sea, es always es entendible, o sea, pero es así como always en mi trabajo. Por eso a veces puedo también usar las otras frases, como le dije, always, o las otras frases que le di every day, once a week, I mean, once a day, I mean, solo para tenerlo en cuenta. Pero está bien, Mauricio, I understood. Thank you. Diana. Yes. Do you clean the products, Diana? Yes. Yes, I do, teacher. How often do you clean the products, Diana? Um, usually. I usually? 
I usually. En inglés no hay sujetos tácitos. Siempre tienen que decir okay. I you. Okay. I usually, ajá. Uh -huh. I usually clean the room. Okay. Very good. Vicky. Hola. Do you have meeting with your boss, Vicky? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I do. Ah, excellent. How often do you have meeting with your boss? Mm. Mm. Monthly. Monthly. Okay, very good. Salvador. So, do you go to the bank? Yes. In your work? How often do you go to the bank? Um, hardly ever. Ah, okay. I Thank hardly you. ever. I hardly ever go to the bank. Go to the bank. Excellent. Clary Rosales. Hello, teacher. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, so. Let me see because today I'm going to interview you, but, it's, but I, uh, to, I don't know. Look, let me see. Ah, oh, Clary Rosales, do you do you do you take your English book to study? Listen to me first. Do you take your English book yes, to study? Do you take your English book to study? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Take book study, me dijo. Si usted agarra su libro para estudiar, do you take your book to study? Your mm. English book to study. Sometimes, teacher. <laughs> Vaya, primero es, yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, no, I, do. I don't. No, pero en este caso es yes, I do, porque primero me dice sí. O sea, sí lo tomo. Ahora, ya cuando de después es la pregunta, how often do you take your English book to study? Okay. Yes, I do, teacher. The first one. Ahora, how often do you take your English book to study? Sometimes, teacher. Uh, I sometimes take my English book to I study. Sometimes. Okay. Excellent. Um, Abraham. Hello. How often do you see anime in your work? Do you see anime in your work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, only, the truth, huh? only I always watch anime in the work. <laughs> Very good. Yes, Do you like anime, no? Do you like anime? Yes, como se decía, escondidas. In a hidden way. <laughs> no menos mal, si, si revisan el video, Abraham, usted sabe que esto va para YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry. I don't wait. De una manera, um, a escondidas, así como decía aquel señor, escondidas. Hasta ahí dejémoslo. <laughs> The hidden way, okay? So, very good, Abraham. Zaira Vanessa. Yes. Zaira Vanessa. How often do you go out with your friends, Zaira? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I weekly. Uh, weekly. Weekly. Vale. Recuerden, señores, a ver. Gracias, Zaira. Recuérdense, a algunos le he hecho la pregunta. Si a mí me empiezan a hacer la pregunta, do you, yo tengo que contestar yes, I do or no, I don't. Y ya después la otra pregunta es how often, ¿ok? Ya cuando me dicen how often es cuando yo ya yo contesto con un eh, adverbio, ¿ok? Solo me falta América. Yes, teacher. América. How often do you go to the hall? Juan a menudo va a los juzgados. How often do you go to the hall? 
Mm, I got the occasionally. I occasionally go. Recuerda, I, I occasionally, occasionally go. go. Ah, ok. Jorge. Jorge. I teach him. I teach him. How often do you sign checks? Juan a menudo firma cheques. Perdonen que lo pongo en evidencia aquí delante de todos. Um, 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 Never. <laughs> Sorry, pero no me acuerdo I, de otra cosa. Uh, I, I never. No, I every day. Almost every day. Para decir almost casi, niños, day. es almost. Ok. Almost es una forma de decir casi. Almost. Okay. Así como usamos los latinos, ¿verdad? Casi siempre. Eso es que dicen que, los, que nosotros, lo, lo, nosotros no somos entendidos para los gringos. Porque usted cuando sale de la casa dice, ya vengo, mamá. Y es mentira. Ahorita va. Ahorita va. Ahorita va. Dice, ya vengo, le dice. Ah, bueno, en mi casa teníamos, ¿quién sí. es yo? Dice uno. ¿Quién es yo? Y ya la gente, they open the door, ¿ok? Ya saben, abre, abre la puerta, o sea. ¿ah? Así como le dije, estoy así, pero así. ¿ah? Ok, let's go to the amendments, guys, 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 the amendments, please, the amendments, guys. América García. Present teacher. Bernardo Aquino. Present teacher. Diana Martínez. Present teacher. Oliver Candray. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. Flor Turcios. Present. Francisca Yanira. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Argueta. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano. Present teacher. Nuria Vargas. Present teacher. Abraham Rivera. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Joan Alvarado. Present teacher. Vanessa Velázquez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sara Jiménez. Present teacher. Saúl Beltrán. Vicky Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Nancy Erazo. Present. Zoila Rosales. Present. Ok, Yanira. Hi, teacher. How often do you check cases for the court? Mm. I check, check cases for, for the court. Uh -huh. I check report is cases for the court, casos para la corte, cases for the court. Every day, teacher. Every day. Very good. Okay, guys. I mean, the class has finished. Please, if you need to, I mean, to, 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 to rewind something, to, to remember something, you can go to the video. You can watch even your answers. You can listen. How do you sound? Como suena ya en video? You can check everything, okay? Uh, remember, you have to do the exercises. I hope everything is clear here and see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel. Please don't miss any class. I hope you have learned, sleep very well, dream with the angels, enjoy anything. But before you go, please uh, do your exercises, okay? So good night, everybody. Have good a night. nice week, good night. okay? Have a good nice night. start good of week. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Just like Rosales cannot go. It's time, teacher. It's time, yeah. Mm. Okay, Claribel. 
Okay, so I'm here just for you. Tell me what are your doubts. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Yes. <laughs> a big notebook of, of notes. Anotado. <laughs> okay, Claribel, come on, tell me. Teacher, ¿qué son adverbios de frecuencia? Son los, bueno, en español son los que me están diciendo la frecuencia de cuánto hago algo. Si quiere la definición más pura, por lo menos para español, un adverbio es la palabra que modifica al verbo. En inglés modifican generalmente al verbo y al adjetivo. En este caso, como usted ve, está modificando al verbo. Porque, por ejemplo, usted dice, yo juego fútbol. Ahí usted está diciendo una oración completa, yo juego fútbol. Pero ya cuando le pongo, I always juego, I always play soccer, por ejemplo, yo ya estoy diciendo la frecuencia con la que lo hago. Ya no solo digo yo juego fútbol, sino que yo digo yo siempre juego fútbol, yo nunca juego fútbol, yo algunas veces juego fútbol, yo raras veces juego fútbol. That's the point. Ok. Y solo hay estas, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Sí, o sea, esos sí, sí, solo, o sea, solo hay nueve. En realidad solo esos son, no hay más okay. adverbios de frecuencia. Pues, o sea, hay algunos que casi no los tocan, pero este, déjeme ver, pero en realidad eh, no, no hay, no hay más. O sea, este, tal vez uno que otro le puede salir, pero son pocos. La verdad es que ya están dados. Estos son los más usados. Tisha. Exacto, they are the most common. Most Porque, common. por ejemplo, okay. ajá, the most common. Cabal, okay. hardly ever. Si, si vaya la teoría, na, nadie tiene más. No, okay. no hay más. Todos tienen, todos registran eso. No hay más. Okay. Thank you, mm -hmm. La otra duda que tengo en el inglés, o sea, para pronunciar, ¿dónde llevan las palabras el acento? Eso hay como así una regla. No, en realidad en el inglés no la hay. En el, la única regla que puede hallar, por ejemplo, es eh, un diccionario, por ejemplo que usted puede, pero tiene que aprender por lo menos a interpretar símbolos. Y la otra, yo, mi sugerencia siempre ha sido, escuchen música. ¿Ah? Esa es una de las sugerencias, escuchen música en inglés. Y ojo, no es que mi gusto ni nada, sino que la de los 60, 70, 90, 80, es música que, que usted puede entender. Por ejemplo, yo en la primera clase siempre, can, a veces siempre he cantado una de, 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 de Europe. I mean, When lights go down. I see no reason for you to cry. Por ejemplo, ya cuando yo oigo eso, ya me dice cómo se pronuncia. Por ejemplo, ya no digo reason, sino digo, I see no reason. Ya sé dónde va el, estrés, el acento. Otra, por ejemplo, que me aprendí es, Though we gotta say goodbye for the summer, baby, I promise you this. I'll send you all my love every day in a letter. Entonces ya digo, no digo every day, sino every day. O sea, por lo menos con oír música, yo educo mi oído al estrés, uh -huh. a los acentos. Porque lo que no va a llegar en inglés son tildes. No es como en el español, que uno dice, ah, la tilde va acá, y por eso dice así. En inglés, just uh -huh. have to distinguish. Y existen palabras que se acentúan de acuerdo a lo que son. Por ejemplo, una de ellas, las que yo más recuerdo es record. Por ejemplo, record. Record. Una es un nombre Ajá. y otra es un, el verbo. Or record. O sea, ¿dónde va? Distingue de qué estoy hablando. Pero eso solo se logra con oír con ver a veces este, películas, series en inglés, leer subtítulos, solo de eso. No hay ninguna regla pura, sino, y la otra, como le digo, if you want to go to the dictionary, si quiere ir al diccionario, pues ahí en el diccionario obviamente se muestra cuando está un acento. Dije, uh -huh. quiero ver, por ejemplo, veamos algo. Ok. Word. Record. Record. Spanish English. Uh -huh. Control C. Yeah. 
Vaya, quiero ver. Vaya. Vea, acá le paso, por ejemplo, cómo es. Aquí está, mira. Ahí dice, en el chat, ya lo vio, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. sí, sí. Vaya. Eh, ¿Cómo le explico? Ah, va. El primer apóstrofe que usted ve, dice, el primer apóstrofe que usted ve, dice que es el nombre. O sea, que el, el noun se pronuncia record. Y record. el segundo, ajá, record. Y el segundo es que dice verbo, que ve que el apóstrofe lo lleva después de la R y la, la I. I. Ajá. Exacto, entonces es record. En el primero es record ajá. y en el otro ajá. es record. Pero... O sea, aún para interpretar todos esos símbolos lingüísticos hay que tener y no hay, como le digo, o sea, ahí tienen que conocer dónde, porque usted me dice, mire, si sí tienen acento, las palabras en inglés van acentuadas, lo que no hacen es ir tildadas, que es muy diferente. Y que es la tilde, es la rayita oblicua que se coloca sobre la sílaba tónica o la que se pronuncia más fuerte, pero eso ya, hispanic. Ah, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Y lo último que aquí Ajá. tenían, ah, pero antes tengo una duda, teacher. Aquí cuando estábamos en el grupo, decíamos, how often do you attend the product? Do pero, you attend? ¿A qué se referían pero, con eso? Uh, me dijo Florcita, o Dianita creo que fue, que usted había corregido eso, que era como a, eh, despachar producto, pero yo tenía la duda si no era. Que yo había corregido o, eso. Ajá. No, pero que dije que por ejemplo, hecho. no, pero despa, no pero es que a ver, despachar o atender, por ejemplo, des, atender al cliente es assist. Assist es, I mean, eh, ajá, quiero ver, assist es atender. Por ejemplo, assist, con, un, con dos S, sí, assist, es atender. Ajá, attend, ajá. Es, as, attend es enlistar. Es enlistar. Diferente. Enlistar, attend. Despachar ah. es dispatch. No hay otra que es dispatch. Y puede dispatch. ser do you ship product. ¿Ah? Puede dispatch. ser how often do you ship Ship, lo que pasa es que no sé qué me está diciendo con ship. Ah, do you ship? Despachar. Despachar, veamos. Ahorita le corrijo. Ahorita es, vemos es. Eso. Sí, no, no sé, sé. Uh -huh. a ver, pero déjeme ship. ver si hay algunos sinónimos de despachar. Ok. Porque a veces es el detalle. Dispatch, que es, ajá, transferir, es darle a alguien extra. Send, uh -huh, convey. ¿Qué querían decir? Vender, pero vender es él. No, dijeron las niñas que era despachar producto. Ajá, pero dis, despachar dije que era dispatch, no dije que era otra cosa. No uh -huh. sé en qué momento malinterpretaron, quizás o no me di a entender yo, pero dispatch es, o sea, despachar producto puede ser también send, es enviar. Enviar, ajá. ajá. Puede ser... Ah, usted dice sac, dice chip. Uh -huh. Sí, chip. chip. Damos chip. Chip, ajá. Definition, chip. Chip, veamos. Chip. A large central to create passenger airplane to send a transport by chip rate. Sí, lo que pasa es que chip es más como... Más como despachar de una sola vez a través de barco o algo. Ah. Esa es la diferencia. Ok. Ajá, esa es la diferencia. Mientras que dispatch, exacto. Dispatch. Ajá. Sí, es trans, ajá, es, es cabal, es hacer una transacción o disponer de él prontamente. La negociación fueron despachadas cuán pronto los dos lados se sentaron a hablar. Sí, o sea, to sending off a messenger from, ajá, uh -huh. dispatches es dispachar. Uh -huh. Ok. Dispachar algo con, o sea, con rapidez. Ah, mm -hmm. Y es lo mismo, cabal, de hacerlo eh, transacción de algún asunto, dice, como noun, veamos, pero veamos los sinónimos, ¿cuál sería? Se now, to consign, convey, expedite, secret. No, pero es que despachar es lo que más, este, queda, sí, despachar es, ajá, sí, mm, dispatch, dispatch, 
verbo transitivo. Ajá, ya, ya, ya. To transact or dispose of more promptly to hasten, to be quick now. To hasten. Sí, pero es que es lo. Ajá. A method of expecting. Ajá. Spade delivery good. Sí. Ajá. Cabal. De hecho, está dentro de la definición del nombre. O sea, dentro de los negocios. Ajá. Cabal. Ajá. De despachar bienes, dinero, cosas así. Ya. Yeah. Ah, va. Perfecto. Thank you, teacher. Eso es todo. No más. Oh, come on. I saw your notebook. I was thinking that we are going to discuss here a lot of things. <laughs> But ya there is no more. So, okay. You have to do the exercises. <laughs> Espero que esté aprendiendo en las clases y que le parezca bien. Con eso estoy happy. Ay, sí. Es súper divertido. <laughs> Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> Y ya hice todas mis, mis tareas de la semana. Sí, no, yo no sé si usted fue la que me hizo, creo, dos semanas o tres semanas adelantadas. You were, ¿no? Sí. Oh, my God. I was, I was checking it. La estoy repasando para, para entenderle, teacher. Okay. Porque cuando habla súper rápido, me cuesta, me cuesta. Pero ahí así sé que voy a aprender como usted nos explicó okay. ahora. Ok. Uh -huh. So, then Thank have you, a nice teacher. night. So, you're welcome. Do your okay. exercise. Ah, no, pero si ya lo hizo, ok. Lo voy bye. a repasar. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye. Bye.